Now we're going to uh, continue with uh, a panel discussion of the mayors because you don't really want to hear from us, you want to hear from them. And uh, we're delighted that the, uh, the mayors have, uh, have joined us this afternoon. Uh, there are some wireless microphones on the uh, table, and I'm told that if we could use those microphones, uh, that would be uh, absolutely uh, uh, terrific. And I'd like to start with uh, Mayor Pasqualic. If, if you could tell us a little bit about, in Akron, how broadband has helped you in the area of workforce development. Thank you. Is this on? Do we have a mic here? You got a mic? I got it. Thank you very much, John. And uh, I, I'm going to be brief in my comments because there are clearly more people in this room who are not technically challenged as I am, who know more about this than I do in a specific way that you might want to uh, hear from rather than uh, someone uh, talking in general terms. But I think uh, John has uh, indicated uh, the importance of, uh, of this whole aspect of access. And I look at it when I was first presented with this opportunity as the same situation that we faced as a country when telephones became the, the thing that people who could afford it used, or electricity, or many other utilities that we all take for granted now. And without the Knight Foundation support, and I want to thank them publicly here for one more project that they've provided to be able to move us ahead uh, in, in uh, this competitive world of ours. And uh, Alberto, I always thought I was your favorite mayor. <laughs> But, uh, but I understand you live in, in Manny, so you have to be kind to him publicly here. But uh, it, it is beyond belief what the Knight Foundation has done. And to, to locate the Knight Center for Digital Excellence in, in Akron and begin there, this whole process of getting a, a system that works, a system that, that can be duplicated and the lessons learned spread across the country, we're very proud of because I think it really moves Akron uh, ahead in many ways that we've been trying to to get out of this old perception of just some old industrial town to really a high-tech place. And, uh, and, and the access to broadband, I think, is an important part of that. We have worked, and I think I'm going to emphasize a couple of things that, uh, that John said, and that is that okay. James, sorry about that. No, that's all right. I, uh, I need to emphasize that one of the best things that they did was reach out to other key stakeholders in the community. And early on, they not only incorporated some of the business leaders that was important, but many of our social service agencies, agencies who serve poor and disadvantaged people, to get them engaged to figure out. And the Urban League is key. They just built a new uh, office in, in central Akron. And uh, they could think of many other uses beyond what we even thought of. And I think it's probably clear that if you look at me, you know probably, as I won't point out some of the people who look like me, but I had always hoped to retire before I ever had to use or learn to how, how to use a computer. And now I carry two of them around with me uh, on a regular basis and have sort of got accustomed to it, although I still can't do the things that my nine-year-old granddaughter can do, I must admit. But 20-year-olds have ideas about how to use these things and, and broadband wireless beyond anything I think that many of us can even imagine. And that will be the wave of the future, and we know that. But this project is really to make sure that every child and every person, no matter what their means, have the access to this important uh, uh, a tool for the future. And I'm really not going to go into a whole lot of detail except that we as a city committed early on when we were first approached with about $400,000 initially and then another $400,000 for maintenance for the first few years. And we're looking forward to this commitment of another couple of million dollars that it will take to build out our system in what really is somewhat of a trial basis, but it includes the important downtown commercial area some of our poor neighborhoods, as well as the University of Akron, some com com commercial areas. And I only want to mention one other thing that I think is important that I don't know that we, and, and, and I'll close on this, that, that uh, uh, James talked about, we really have no idea what the possibilities are, what the future holds. 
But for small businesses, beyond just what we think about of having poor people have access, small businesses having access to do the kinds of things that major companies are already doing is an important part of this for economic development. But I know that, that having uh, all of our people, to ensure all of our people have that opportunity is important, and I think mayors understand that probably as well as anyone. I'm just very fortunate to have had the uh, Knight brothers start their chain in Akron, and so we're still on the list when they start to consider uh, where to locate these facilities, and I couldn't be uh, happier with Alberto Ibaquin's, uh commitment to this uh, country, really, in starting new programs. We, we had a program with immigration that they started many years ago to incorporate more of, of a thought process into how we we bring immigrants in and make them part of our community. There's so many innovative things that they're doing that I'm very blessed as mayor of Akron uh, to uh, have one more addition to the Knights' uh, continuing commitment to this country, and I appreciate it Thank very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, mayor Nutter. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor Nutter, Philadelphia was one of the early leaders in addressing broadband at a community-wide level, and you have uh, changed uh, in, in many ways the, the story in, uh, in Philadelphia. You've got a tremendous amount of free public access in the city. It's used by thousands of people every day. You've got a number of strong community programs. Uh, you've dealt with a lot of industry changes as well. What lessons can we learn from the experience you've had in Philadelphia? Well, first, uh, let me also thank, uh, thank Knight for the great work that you've been doing in Philadelphia prior to my time, and, and it has continued to have been in office a little over a year. Uh, I think the big lesson is, uh, as uh, we see with uh, what President-elect Obama is dealing with, uh, one, there are no quick fixes, two, you have to be in for the long haul, and three, uh, you really have to stay focused. Uh, the administration before mine uh, really did uh, go out on a limb uh, and aggressively uh, put together a partnership uh, with a, a company by the name of Earthlink. Uh, there was an entity called the Wireless Philadelphia created, and uh, as uh, we saw all across the country, eventually that uh, unit, at least of Earthlink, if not the whole company, uh, started to uh, deteriorate. Uh, they made commitments that, they, well, we started in Philly and one other place we're going to stay, we're going to stay, we're going to stay. Uh, the administration uh, changed and then one day we get a call and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, we're not staying. Uh, and, um, you know, it started to, uh, to fall apart. So a lot of scrambling around and eventually some other folks uh, stepped up. But you have to stay focused on what is your main objective? What are you trying to uh, accomplish? And whether it's access to broadband or, and these are not, of course, mutually exclusive, uh, the whole issue of the digital divide uh, and how you deal with that. Uh, the statistics you heard earlier about uh, how young people do in school, but the overall access to information. If you don't have a computer in your home, uh, then often the uh, government is seen as uh, the last uh, uh, la last resource uh, for many folks, and whether it's through uh, public libraries or other uh, publicly owned uh, assets and facilities, uh, making sure uh, that uh, you have uh, these systems in place. Uh, presently, uh, our big uh, cable provider, in, at least in Philadelphia, the whole city, uh, is uh, Comcast, and you know, cable companies, much like your gas company, electric company, vir virtually any other uh, utility, uh, you know, everybody has a complaint about something. Um, Verizon uh, has uh, come forward and picked Philadelphia as uh, one of their uh, cities to bring Fios. And, uh, you know, folks say, well, I thought you loved Comcast. They're a big employer. They're, you know, great corporate citizen. Well, I do. But I also like competition. Uh, and if uh, Verizon wants to spend a billion dollars uh, in Philadelphia building out a network,